Again, this gets down to how you use your time, all right? I'm very, very, very big on this, and this is gonna make a big difference in your life too. But if I have an hour's worth of time to spend, and most of the attachments that we sell, or the tractors that we sell, you know, I can make 100 bucks, or 500 bucks, or shoot, maybe even $1,000 on a tractor. Am I better off spending my time talking to the customers about those bigger ticket items, or am I better off spending my time selling a couple of bags of seed where I could make literally 10 bucks? Same amount of time that I'm spending, much smaller return, right? Want to spend a little bit of time today <clears throat> talking about how to spend your time wisely. And I think that an example, I've used it before, but probably not in the same exact context, but I think for a lot of us out there, it's not worth mowing our own lawns. <laughs> and, and, I, and I like this example, and it, you gotta look at it in a vacuum, right? There's a lot of factors that go into every situation, every one of us out there is unique. But my lawn out here, okay, it costs 130 bucks for two guys to come out here and mow my lawn. It's about three acres that's being mowed. They're using two machines, they're mowing, a lot of trimming going on, blowing off the driveway, the sidewalks, and all that kind of stuff. It's typically about six hours, man hours, labor hours worth of work to do that. And so I can pay two guys to use their own equipment, spend their own fuel, their own wear and tear, their own trailer, their own truck, all that kind of stuff, coming out here, six hours of time for 130 bucks, and that frees up six hours of time that I don't have to do that. I don't have to be stuck on a mower where I can't do anything else. I'm not also spending my own fuel. I'm not also having my own dedicated machine. And I'm not trapped in that six hours of time, week in and week out, where I can't do anything else. That could be, in my mind, much more productive on many different scales. So I'm using this example because we can pretty much all relate to it, right? But take this one task, and if you have something unique or something different in your life that you can apply it to, do the same kind of reflection on it, okay? Um, let's round down to 120 bucks. So six hours, 120 bucks, that's 20 bucks an hour. So is my time, with what I can do with it, with the finite amount of time that I have, is 20 bucks an hour, is that the best thing that I can do? Is that the best way to use my six hours of time, you know, for half the year, right? The growing season in Michigan is at least 26 weeks out of the year. So 26 times a year, is that the best thing that I can do with my time? And I'm not discounting, okay? I'm not discounting the folks that are out there doing this work. If they're out there created a business and this is their business model doing it, I'm not putting that down. I'm just saying for me and for a lot of us out there in our own situations, you need to reflect on that. And that's how every decision should be made when you're going through hiring out a service, doing it yourself. And there's a lot of personal satisfaction. I love to mow the lawn. I do. I love to mow the lawn. If I'm looking at this from what I can do with my own time, with my limited amount of time, right? I've got a family. We have sporting events all weekend long. We have practices all the time in the evening. I have other hobbies. I want to hunt. I'd like to go fishing. I haven't played golf in years, and I love to play golf. There's a lot of other things I would love to do, you know? Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So I was reading a book not that long ago and this is kind of a, um, well, a little sidebar, a way that I've been trying to get more efficient with my own time is listening to audiobooks. My wife actually got me kind of turned on to that. Um, I, don't, I don't read nearly as much as I should, but uh, with the audiobooks, you know, I can pop that in the headphones that I have, like those 3M headphones or the ProHear headphones, they're Bluetooth, put an audiobook on Audible, and I have read, listened to a lot of books this summer using that method, and I've really enjoyed it. But anyway... Cameron Haynes, I read a book by him recently. He's a big time bow hunter. Uh, he's done well for himself over the years and I, I enjoy following uh, along and seeing what he's doing. He kind of summed it up like this though, where he was using, he might've been using the same example of lawn mowing, I'm not sure, but he also had some other examples of 
exercising, right? Or shooting his bow, he loves to shoot his bow. And you can't pay somebody else to shoot your bow or to exercise for you. You're not gonna see those benefits, but you can pay somebody else to mow your lawn for you, right? Or snow plow your driveway. And so if you have that limited amount of time, which we all do, then you have to make those decisions. If you wanna improve yourself, and you, you don't have to be exercising or shooting your bow, but if there's, there's things that only you can do to improve, then you need to focus on those because there's some things that you can't pay somebody else to do. And myself, I found that as a pitfall or as an excuse in a way to not get better, right? Or to be lazy about something. Um, and so you can, I can talk my way into anything or I can talk my way out of it. So you gotta use those words and that, that power in the right way in order to make progress with yourself and accomplish your goals. And so, on that note, you know, I am somewhat of a walking contradiction, right? Because if I'm using that example of paying somebody else to mow my lawn, then I probably shouldn't have my own lawnmower, <laughs> but I do. I've got my own 11 foot wide fairway mower from Toro. And the reason for that is number one, I think it's really cool. Uh, number two, those guys come out and mow once a week and our lawn grows really fast and our kids play soccer in the backyard. And if they come once a week, then they're hitting in shag or they're, they're kicking the ball around in shag. And so I like to get out there with an 11 foot mower. I can knock that out in like a half hour, the whole back acre and a half. And that's just, I just kind of mow, mow that section. I don't do trimming or anything else. I can knock that out in a half hour and it's done. It's clean. And I'm, I know I bought that mower, right? So I can sell that thing off whenever and make money on it. I will when I sell it. So it's, it's kind of a different situation there, but you could do the exact same thing if you wanted to. But I've also got some other examples of things that I used to do and don't do now. And a lot of you this year, and probably good for you to know too, I no longer sell the Northwoods whitetail seed, like the food plot seed that's all out here. I tried experimenting with that last year. And sometimes you gotta try something out and see how it goes. And logically, it made sense to sell food plot seed. A lot of my viewers are hunters, they're outdoorsmen. Um, they're local to this area, and we can even ship it out too. <clears throat> now, if I had my preference, I would have structured that relationship with Northwoods to have an affiliate partnership where you use a discount code like I do with other vendors. You just go to their website, place an order, enter a discount code, you save a little bit, I make a commission, it ships out direct. So for whatever reason, Northwoods didn't want to structure the relationship like that. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll take a flyer. We'll order a couple pallets or a few pallets full of seed, have them shipped down here. We'll experiment with it, see how it goes. turns out I should not have done that. And the reason is, again, this gets down to how you use your time, all right? I'm very, very, very big on this, and this is going to make a big difference in your life too. But if I have an hour's worth of time to spend, and most of the attachments that we sell or the tractors that we sell, you know, I can make 100 bucks or 500 bucks or shoot, maybe even $1,000 on a tractor. Am I better off spending my time talking to customers about those bigger ticket items or am I better off spending my time selling a couple of bags of seed where I could make literally 10 bucks? Same amount of time that I'm spending, much smaller return, right? And so <clears throat> it didn't take long to figure out that this was just not worth my time and not an avenue that I wanted to go down, right? And so you find that stuff out sometimes by doing it. And I didn't sell all the seed that I had. I gave some of it away. I used what I could. I, I overseeded heavy this year, the second year with the leftover stuff that I had because the germination rate goes down a bit. But the point being is that I'm, you gotta be willing to make, to set yourself out there a little bit, right? Take some risk, not a huge risk, right? But I bought a few thousand dollars worth of seed to see how it goes, to experiment and see if it was worth my while to continue to pursue that path. And Trial and error, you find out it's not. So same thing with, talked about this before too, how I used to love to do service work, brush hogging fields, tilling gardens, tilling food plots, all that kind of stuff. I absolutely used to love it. And I really do still love it. But if I'm sitting out there on a tractor all day, by the time I get it all hooked up here, load on a trailer, drive to point A, B, C, D, F, G, all that, and get back, I mean, I'm on my tractor that whole time. I can't take phone calls. I can't answer emails. I can't do all the other business functions that I need to do that have grown the business to where it is. So it's just falling behind on all this extra work. And while I am making 
okay money doing the service work, the trade-off is I'm missing out on the much bigger slice of the pie, piece of the pie that's paying most of the bills. And so I don't do the service work anymore either. So your life is different. Your life is unique, but you can still apply the same principles to the different services that you hire out or don't hire out in your life. Maybe you are mowing your lawn right now and you just didn't think about it, right? Because you're still, you're still paying for the fuel, you're still paying for the maintenance, still paying for the machine on top of your time, week in and week out. And there is some enjoyment. There's some stress relief. I think that comes with a lot of it too, just being out there and not having to think about anything either. That can be very satisfying and could be therapeutic even. But it's just one example that you can apply to all the other areas of your life that could set you on a new trajectory and make you more efficient, get some extra cash in your pocket doing different things. And who knows, maybe it even means you're spending an extra half hour reading a book or maybe spending a half, half hour, an hour a week taking a class to learn a new skill set that's going to, you know, maybe not now, it's costing you a little bit of money, right? You're paying somebody else to mow and you're paying for a class to take. But in a year from now or two years from now, when you have a major new skill set that you can do and you can make way higher earnings at that point, well, sky's the limit then. So don't be short-sighted, see beyond just tomorrow to make these decisions. You know, so a different way to look at this could be the cost to automate your life, right? And you could go from a manual process to that automatic process. And that's kind of the same way mowing your own lawn versus hiring it out, right? I mean, it's the same thing as just putting your bills on auto pay. You know, you don't have to think about it, it's just done. And while it's a good idea to, to check your bills from time to time, right? The electric bill, the gas bill, whatever it is, so you are aware of what you're paying, making sure that there's no extra fees that are being rolled in there that you didn't know about, or they sign you up for some extra service that you're not taking advantage of, or it's an extra five bucks a month that they're just siphoning off. Still, the benefit of that is way less touch time for you, right? It's just a recurring thing that you know you're gonna have to pay month in and month out. You're never gonna fall behind then at that point. So, I mean, credit cards too, you know, if you're at least making that, that minimum payment, should be paying them off every month. But if you're at least making that minimum payment, it's gonna improve your credit score, which that's just playing a game and making sure that you can get the best lowest rates available when you need them. You know, and a, and a, and a good example, I, uh, I follow a channel, um, Nick Bear, he's a, an exercise guy. And he, uh, it's majorly, a, I guess, mainly a, a lifestyle channel, but he also talks about his business and he recently just got uh, a, a really sweet machine that for all of it, I wish we could get one for our business. It's really cool. It's like you know, a customer orders a hat or some supplements or whatever on his website and at their warehouse, there's this huge, sweet looking conveyor belt, robot looking thing. And you just set the items that are ordered on the conveyor belt and it does the rest. It, it scans it all, it builds a box all around it spits it out at the end of it with a shipping label and it's ready to go. So of course there's a huge initial investment to get that kind of machine set up and going, but it saves a lot of labor. It takes a lot of human error out of the process too. And the time, you know, labor savings in general is gonna recoup itself with volume. It could be a few years payback, who knows? But there's a lot of other benefits too that free you up to do something else. So again, this isn't to say necessarily mowing your lawn, Hiring somebody out is the right or wrong thing for you. It's the concept behind this, right? So I'd encourage you to take this back, apply it to your life, apply it to your business. I mean, it's, it's a huge time saver. That's kind of, it's just what I love to do. I love to be more efficient with my time. If you can find ways to do it, there's, it doesn't cost, it doesn't, the real cost of me mowing or paying somebody else to mow my lawn is not 130 bucks. It's far less than that. So. It's well worth it for me to do that, but I totally get it at the same time if it's well worth it for other reasons for you to mow your own lawn too. That'll wrap it up for us today. A little bit of motivation for you, some for you to think about, but of course our main business is buying and selling tractor attachments. So if you're in the market for a tractor attachment, well, we ship them all over the country every day of the week. We'd love to earn your business. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Oh,